Hi, my name is Pierre Bonnet. I'm the founder of the MDM Alliance Group community. Uh, during this speech, I will be presenting our approach to assess the maturity level in data management. This approach has been defining within uh, our sister community sustainable IT architecture since 2007. Um, the material is able under a Creative Commons license. It means that you can use it without uh, any limitation. First of all, to assess your data management maturity level, we define a set of about 30 questions classified within three domains of assessment. Firstly, the data knowledge deals with your ability to enforce enterprise data architecture with a right modeling approach from semantic to logical data model. Secondly, the data governance function deals with your ability to provide your business users with functions allowing them to govern their data, such as authoring, querying, versioning management, permission management, auditability, etc. Thirdly, mastering IT deals with your ability to establish a suitable IT foundation to support data management at the scale of the world system. As you can see, our assessment approach is not focused on organizational situations existing in your company. Indeed, regardless of your organizational maturity and the choices, you always need to enforce a clear vision in relation to data knowledge management, data governance functions, and IT foundation to support uh, the data management. That's uh, good news to act on this uh, topic immediately, whatever how your organization is today and will be tomorrow. Then, let's start the process of data management assessment we propose. Here you can see our checklist to assess data management. In the data knowledge uh, management, we focus on the enterprise data architecture to gauge the scope of its deployment within an, an organization. We also study the ability to unify data architecture over the types of data. In, it means reference and master data, transactional data, decisional data, and data flows. We also focus on the ability to deploy a basic data modeling approach with business uh, dictionary, business point of view uh, modeling, and logical point of view modeling. If a company has a good command uh, in basic data modeling, it is relevant to assess its ability to master the semantic data modeling. It means the ability to model business objects life cycles, relationship between business objects with a sufficient level of parametrization, and the management of business rules applied to data. The last part of the data knowledge assessment is about the availability of a funding to act. In the data governance feature assessment, we measure the availability of key business functions allowing business users to really govern their data. Depending on the nature of data, the governance features can be different. It means we assess governance applied to reference and master data, then transactional data, decisional data, and uh, data flows. The last part of the data governance features assessment is about the security the management of key indicators of performance applied to data, and the quality of the data tracking on auditability. In the IT approach to manage data, we focus on key points to enforce a suitable IT foundation to manage data at the world scale of a system. It means that we assess the ability to establish a model-driven MDM system. It means an enterprise or multi-domain MDM system. Furthermore, we assess the ability to connect this MDM with a BRMS and also with a complex event processing to oversee data over time with key business risk management indicators. The last part of the IT assessment is focused on the data integration. It means the quality of the integration of the MDM system with the rest of the system and the ability to streamline data mapping by reusing the semantic data modeling. For each measurement point, the data assessment provides you with a detailed question. You must answer within a scale of five levels from low to optimize. 
For each level, we provide a detailed description of the situation so that you can decide the right answer in your context. For example, the first question is about the achievement of the reference and master data enterprise architecture within your organization. The low level is indicated as follows. More than 50% of ref and master data models are duplicated. Most of the time, ref and master data models are interwined with transactional data models, which reduce the ability to establish enterprise architecture applied to ref master data. On the opposite of the scale, the optimized level is indicated as follows. Complete unified ref master data modeling with very limited duplications within data structures. Ref and master data models are well identified and complement with transactional data models. Let's take a second example applied to the question of assessing how relationship between business objects are modeled. The low level is indicated as follows. Relationship between business objects are frozen when establishing data models. There are no modeling procedure to set up integrity rules required to check data cardinality. It means hard-coded development. On the opposite uh, of the scale, the optimized level is indicated as follows. Relationships between business objects are managed as master data. Changing cardinalities is established by parametrization within the MDM system. In other words, the MDM is used to check cardinalities between business objects. Every project uses this approach to implement integrity rules. Obviously, the other levels are also detailed. It means basic, medium, and advanced. Now let's take a last uh, example of measurement point applied to the governance features available to govern data flows. The low level is indicated as follows. Data flows management is enforced by an IT approach only at the level of integration layer. Integrity rules applied to data flows are hard-coded and the audit trail is meaningful to IT specialists only. On the opposite of the scale, the optimized level is indicated as follows. More than 80% of data flows management is fully enforced by using data governance features brought by a MDM system. All integrity rules applied to data flows are well established and the audit trail is easy to use by all IS stakeholders. This means that the integration layer, for example, the EAI, is connected with the MDM repository. At the end of the assessment uh, of your uh, data management, you obtain a performance level percentage applied to each domain. It means data knowledge, data governance functions, and data anti integration. A consolidated percentage level is computed and translated into a letter from A to D, providing your situation within the maturity uh, model. A is the higher level, D is the lowest level. We advise uh, to use our data management assessment tool in particular when you face situations such as you don't really know what is your current situation in data management, the first case. Second case, you uh, believe that whatever the organization to manage data you will enforce, it is mandatory to define what to deliver. It means what data models, what data governance functions, and what IT data governance um, foundation. Third, you want to include key quality indicators to enforce data management quality in your project, including when you push uh, RFP to uh, third parties. And last but not least, you want to establish a data governance and MDM program, and you have to define a path from your current situations to the target that is described as an A mark within the data management assessment tool. So now you have some key elements of understanding our approach. You can freely download the tool from our website and then uh, test it. Uh, last word to indicate that we also provide a same detailed level of assessment applied to rules management and to processes management. It means that the full assessment of your IS is within graphs by using our IS rating tool. Hope you can use our contribution. Remember, this is an open source initiative published under the Creative Commons. 
uh, feel free to share your feedbacks and comments uh, with us. Thank you very much for, for sharing your time with us and talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.